Hello Sadie, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. The King of Cups, interesting, water energy, Cancer and Pisces Scorpio. So this is exactly what I was saying about the the energy of you right now is yes you've got a lot of love for your divine masculine but you've you've pulled that back you know because the king of cups is someone who is full of love king of love really and um, but doesn't always express it can be quite kind of stoic and and i i just feel that's that's how you are um <clears throat> the love is there but you're not like pushing it out to divine masculine you know you're just gonna um taking a little a step back let's get one more for divine feminines we're going to be getting some messages from the divine masculine as well um a little bit later so direct messages from them about how they're feeling and again i'm getting like a lot of downloads just now and um, I don't even know if this card is in one of these decks that I've chosen, but I'm, there's a card in one of my decks and it's, I don't want you to be with anyone else. So take that if it resonates, guys, because I feel that is a big concern of the Divine Masculines. Like maybe, maybe you're not around much or maybe they don't feel you as much because you're with someone else. You know, maybe your energy is going towards someone else. So we'll see if that sort of thing comes up later yeah um three of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn i feel there's you know as i was saying at the beginning a lot of growth in divine feminine you're just working on yourself really um and trying to kind of create a really um stable um life around you at the moment probably focusing a lot on your career i feel like just now um i just feel a lot of strength within divine feminines at the moment um and it's like yes you would be willing to work on this partnership work on this relationship with your divine masculine you know if and when that comes back around but you're you're good just kind of being by yourself just now and doing your own work that's really what I feel temperance there Sagittarius energy um again it's just the same message I keep getting here because temperance yes is about like healing and um and patience and things like that but it's also about reconciliation and I just feel like you're in such a space of until this reconciliation happens, like I'm just going to keep doing me. I'm going to work on myself and be the best version of myself that I can be. Okay, so let's get some cards for Divine Masculine. Now what's going on with them? We've obviously had a little bit of a channeled message. <laughs> Five of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel a lot of them feel there is competition for you. Um, <laughs> it is a concern, you know, almost like is three's a crowd. Is there a third party here with you, like Divine Feminine? Hmm. Yeah, a lot of kind of mental conflict going on right now, I would say with Divine Masculines too. Uh, four of Swords, Seven of Swords, so strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ha! <laughs> now, this is probably where I was getting that panicked feeling, um, because they're feeling like they've got to do something now you know it's like you've withdrawn so much um that they feel like they just might lose you for good and potentially to someone else or something else for some of you i'm feeling it's just more it could be your career that you're focused on right now 
but it's like they've got to get this move on um you know are they are they going to lose you as i said um i don't know why i think they're feeling that you're not telling them something okay again i feel that's linked to all the kind of lurking in things on social media is that they think you've got something uh, to hide from them <laughs> something you're being a bit sneaky about wheel of fortune so you could be dealing with a fixed sign um aquarius taurus leo scorpio here yeah it's it's almost like I'm hearing the words time is up, time, time's, time's running out, you know. Um, really, they've got to take that that wheel by the hand, you know. They've got to be decisive and they've got to put an end to um, karmic things in their life that they've been holding on to. There's got to be this shift. I keep hearing the words panic and urgency. There's an urgency to get to their destiny, you know. I'm just drawn to this X on the card today as well, a 10, you know, about ending of old cycles and about to kind of rebirth a new cycle. Um, I feel like you're going to see a really big change in this person, in this masculine. Um, Let's get another card here. Well, some of you I really feel are dealing with an air sign here. The you know, King of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong Aquarius here, I would say. You know, sitting on this throne of transformation. And that's what I was saying, like, I feel you're going to see a really big change in this person. Um, almost like I feel some of you have been manifesting this. So if your masculine was someone who, you know, could be like this king of swords, could be cold and aloof and detached and things like that. It's like you're thinking if they are to come back in my life, they have to change that type of behaviour specifically that type of behaviour. So I want them to be more um, affectionate and warm and open, open communication, I'm getting. Um, and just someone who is more emotionally available. And so sitting on that throne of butterflies, I do feel like there is a change in this person and that's what they are um, learning to change about themselves at the moment because the thing is it's just like if you if they're going to be like that then you're going to match that like tenfold with this person so you're going to become cold and distant and you're going to shift so it's like they need to um balance out that behavior you know and be more warm and loving and giving to you and then in return you will be this queen of cups you know so the king of cups here so so we're seeing we're seeing this kind of husband and wife of the tarot this equal match and i just feel like i hope i'm describing it right but it's they, I feel like the masculines here have realised that they get what they put out, you know. So you're going to react however this person is um, behaving towards you type thing, you know. And I feel, I mean, the Queen of Cups is all about someone who is very loving and caring and, and, and gives a lot emotionally um, and things. But they're missing that from you right now because I, I just feel like you have become yourself quite 
detached from this person. You know, they kind of miss, they want to get back to that with you. So let's get some messages from this person, but I just feel like that's their, that's their kind of karma that they're working on at the moment that they're kind of receiving. Like if they're going to be like that to you, then you're going to be like that to them. Okay. So yeah, in order to, um, to kind of rectify things in this connection and to feel your energy again and feel that warmth and feel that love, then they've got to become that instead of this King of Swords, you know, they've got to become someone who, um, is more giving to you okay so let's get some messages here and guys i um do a lot of readings on patreon as well messages from your person and you know we get a real kind of insight into the nitty-gritty of these connections a lot so if you're interested in the collective readings um, extended and bonus readings that are just exclusive to Patreon and things like that. You can join the Two of Cups tier on Patreon, just five pounds a month, um, seven dollars fifty. So you get unlimited access to everything. Um, so have a look there if you're interested, guys. It's on patreon.com forward slash Queen Diane, and I think honestly I've got coming up for. <laughs> 200 videos on there or something so whatever tier you join you unlock all the previous videos from months before as well so if you're going on the top tier or even the second top tier which is is eight pounds a month my two of cups and my zodiac extended combined tier you're pretty much going to get like all of those videos so check it out if you're interested okay well they're you know <laughs> They're still feeling very passionately about you at the moment. The thought of you still does things to me. You still take my breath away. So you're someone who, I mean, literally just the sight of you um, and even just photos and things. Again, I'm getting like social media or photos you've maybe texted them and things like that. I mean, they look at you and, you, you know, you make them weak at the knees. It really was me, not you. Okay, so... They realise like you won't be around forever, you know, and you won't keep being like this Queen of Cups um, energy to them. You, you will withdraw and eventually they could lose you um, for good. So this is what I was saying earlier. This person's realised that they cannot keep being this King of Swords to you, keep being someone who is distant and wanting like all the love from you but they're not returning it so th this is a major change in this person's energy this wheel of fortune it's it is a shift it's like a 180 shift here and i really feel like it's a lot to do with emotions with this person you know and and as i said earlier you manifesting this change in this person um it's almost like you're envisioning what you would want them to, to be like in the future. What would give you um, the emotional support that you need and what would be um, emotionally like fulfilling to you, okay? They know that they're the problem here. Not that I want to like bash Divine Masculines and blame them for everything because, you know, nothing is black and white like that. And, um, You know, there are things in Divine Feminine and, and Divine Masculine that, you know, are, um, that, that need to be worked on. It's not just one-sided, but the Divine Masculines that I'm channeling here, it, it, it was a big problem, you know, the lack of kind of emotional support, I feel, from this person. And they could have been telling themselves for a while that, you know, we've got that seven of um, swords here, like lying to themselves about that before. Um, maybe blaming you, I'm getting at times, but they've come to that realization that, uh, no, I actually, I'm, <laughs> I was a problem here. 
I can't give up my responsibilities right now. So I do feel an awful lot of like self reflection going on with them being introspective. So, I mean, that is a good thing. But I keep comparing others to you. Thing is, no one will match up to you. You know, Queen of Cups, you don't have to be a water sign, but that divine feminine, that very like a wreath role um, energy, no one really matches up to that. Um, <laughs> they may have tried to kid themselves that somebody else could, I feel like, like try and kind of substitute you, but they always come back to that. You know what? Like no one matches up to, to you. Let's get one more from this deck. You're all I've ever wanted. <sighs> ah. So, yeah, you know, no, just no one compares. And as much as they may have tried to deny this before, you're the only thing this person's ever wanted, you know. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about destiny, as we know. And, you know, steering yourself towards your destiny. Okay, and I... I really feel this person, you know, with this King of Cups and Queen of Cups here, I, I feel this person does see you as like their husband or wife, even if you're not married. Um, it's how they view you, you know? There's always been that kind of inner knowing um, that there's this destiny between the two of you. Didn't expect this reading to be so long, but whatever. <laughs> I was going to do a couple of shorter readings, but anyway, I don't want to hide this connection anymore. I don't want to be this little sneaky peek, sneaking around, hiding things, you know, and causing conflict between you and them, consequently, okay? Now that could be... You know, the Five of Wands, the conflicts around them, it could be um, other people, like friends, family, exes of, of theirs or something. Um, in a sense, I feel like they were trying to protect you from that by keeping it low-key between the two of you, but now it's just like they want to announce like you're their person. I have an offer for you. And I feel like that's an emotional offer more than anything else. Um, I'm hearing like getting, getting things off their chest. So opening up to you in a way that they haven't before, I feel like. Yeah. Okay, this is what I was saying there. Some people don't want us um, together, but I don't care. This person's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to announce like, you're my person, we're together, and that's that. So, yeah, there, there is... Take it how it resonates, guys. But there's been... Some people, I really feel like, have been trying to sabotage this between the two of you. And people do get jealous of these connections. So, it, it may be that this person doesn't care anymore, though. That's part of this big shift in their thinking. They don't care anymore. Um, so I'm getting an awful lot of channeling in this. Um, but it could be the type of thing that whoever these people around your connection are, I mean, they literally may have said things to you um, to make you think that your person doesn't care. You know, they just don't give a shit about you. Um, yeah, you know, really trying to sabotage things between the two of you and just causing a lot of, of conflict, right? Um, but this King of Swords, you know, can be quite stern and I, I just really feel that they have said enough, you know, um, I'm working on cutting people like that 
I, um, yeah, you know, King of Swords doesn't take any bullshit, so. I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge. I told you this person's been going through a big transformation here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they, you know, they may have been someone who was really closed off to that kind of thing before, and now they're, they're kind of tapped into their higher self. They're open to the spiritual side of this in a way that they haven't been before. I just feel like there's something about them yeah, look, uh, it's the only way I can describe it, an openness that wasn't there before. Um, just a different perspective on things between you and them. Um, I really do miss you a lot. Okay, so <laughs> they miss you, they miss... They miss you as a person, but they miss your energy. And that's what I've been saying since the start. Like, they don't, like, feel you anymore. They want to get back to this this feeling of you. Of you. Um, but they know they have a lot to change in order to get that. But they, they miss energy. That's why they are freaking out. <laughs> um, it's like, where have you gone? You know, I kind of thought you'd always be around. While I was working on my own bullshit and stuff like that. But now I don't feel you. Now I'm fucking panicking. <laughs> I'm like, so I don't normally swear in my readings. I try and keep that for Patreon and stuff. But I, like, I swear a lot in real life. Um, and, you know, I just try and keep it like PG for, for YouTube and stuff. But um, I, I'm probably channeling this from your person. You know, they may swear a lot. But it's just, it's just what I'm getting. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there's a lot coming out here. We'll just take them all. Um, also, guys, make sure you do follow me on Instagram at QueenDiane222 because I'd really appreciate I'm trying to like grow my own career here, my social media and stuff. Um, and my TikTok is the same at QueenDiane222. And I do some little readings on there and things, some extra readings. Um, I've been getting really good views on there, like over 100,000 um views for some of them which is kind of crazy oh my god you're all I've ever wanted it was you it was always you I told you this person's always had that inner knowing okay they may have been resistant to that before but because they are increasing expanding their spiritual knowledge that is changing okay they've always known it was this destiny between the two of you <clears throat> Whoa, I know we're being spiritually guided. Did I say that? Guided towards our destiny? I mean, this person, this is a huge change in this person. They could have been someone that just thought anything kind of spiritual was a load of rubbish before. And now um, they, they believe, they believe, they're a believer. I'm severing ties with the karmic partner. As I said, if there was anyone causing uh, conflict around the two of you, it doesn't actually have to be a romantic partner. You know, karmic people can be platonic as well. Um, but just someone that was specifically really interfering here. As I said, they're cutting them out, okay? They're doing what needs to be done. Okay, let's get some romance angel guidance here. I meant, to, I honestly just thought I'd do a quick 10 minute reading. We're almost at half an hour. <laughs> so anyway, if you're still here, please do like the video. I'd really appreciate it. And it helps YouTube know you like the content and it helps me know you like the content, guys. I take it's resonating if you're still listening to me. <laughs> Rabbit on after half an hour. Okay, so yeah, before we get the Romance Angels, I just want to say, just reiterate, um, but yeah, th this person, like, they felt the shift in you. They felt you kind of moving on and they're freaked out. You know, they are panicking. So this is why 
Like, they've kind of gone into panic mode and they're like, shit, I better learn um, everything I can about the spiritual side of this connection. Because you may have been saying that to them, you know, and they were just quite dismissive before. Now they're looking into it. And now they're kind of, you know, the dots are connecting, I'm hearing. Um, yeah, it's like the main, the main message I'm really getting here. Um, and there, there is a change. If they've been keeping you... You know, keeping this little key, almost keeping you a bit like a secret here. This person wants to like broadcast this. They want to like shout it from the rooftops. You're their person, you know. Unrequited love. Now, what was that I got earlier? Um... Yeah, you know, I, there's, someone's been telling themselves this or, you know, as I said, it could be other people interfering, like telling you your masculine doesn't care about you. Take it how it resonates, you are them. But there, there's just been this um, issue here where you've kind of been left thinking, actually, yeah, you know what? <sighs> A person doesn't care about me. Mm, it's not true, all right? It's not true. And if anything, they didn't love themselves enough before if they were kind of listening to people like that. What else we need to know? Because, yeah, you know what? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you've not just kind of imagined this in your head. <laughs> divine feminine if you've been thinking like that the feelings between the two of you are so so real they are so tangible and don't let anyone including yourself make you doubt that new love okay so this new chapter coming in between the two of you um the wheel of fortune it's a new portal you know it's big changes coming in and um ending karmic cycles so we've also got here the karmic the karmic issue i'm gonna say this person is like cutting ties with that um let's get one more thank you to everyone who is on patreon by the way as well thank you for all your support if you're already over there thanks guys because it helps me still continue to make um the free youtube readings healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay um i'm sort of because <laughs> i'm kind of tapping into my my own like i i'm hearing about my own issues that <laughs> i've had with family issues and things so I feel this is relevant for for this reading because this is what they're bringing up for me with my issues. Um, so you may have had issues with abandonment, right? And what these connections, what happens in these connections a lot is that your person will trigger those issues for you to then heal them, you know? And I, I feel abandonments. A big issue here. You may have felt abandoned by your person, you know, and it could have been a childhood issue. You felt abandoned by a parent, I'm hearing. Um, so that's really what the trigger has been here, you know. So almost like I want to say, try not take it personally if your person, you know, has kind of gone ghost at times and things like that. It is for you to learn that lesson and heal that within you that's just what i'm getting guys don't shoot the messenger <laughs> that's what i'm getting that's what i had to do it is difficult okay but it could have just been a bit of a block with you guys i mean the overall energy here is the ten of pentacles as well this person does want a relationship with you they do want to invest in this connection um it's how they see the two of you as i said earlier i mean We've got the four of wands underneath this as well. Oh. Eight of, um, sorry, six of swords, this movement forward, the fool, new beginnings. I mean, you know, <laughs> I could keep going down this deck here. They do 
um, yeah, they do want the relationship here. Um, and they see you, that's what I was going to say, they see you already like as husband and wife. Now in these connections, you're already married in the 5D, but this person like in the 3D, um, they still feel like you are their husband or wife. And I know that may sound strange if things have been going really badly between the two of you and, and you know, they've been acting like they don't care and dismissive and stuff but that's just what I'm getting that's how this person sees you okay and they've had to do a lot of working um on their own issues you know um to remove the blocks of getting to that stage between the two of you but um I just like your luck is changing in this situation you know wheel of fortune good luck good news um is on the way here and so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it here